The real estate industry is talking about greater adoption of green practices in constructing and running their buildings. But with little appreciation of our homegrown indigenous ways, property developers are relying on global design norms which in the Indian context are overpriced and energy guzzling. Noida's town planners are now getting serious about building green and they are collaborating with India's national Griha rating system to add the compliance muscle to their effort. How successful will they be? Let's find out. The twin cities of Noida and Greater Noida are joining hands with Griha, India's national rating system for green buildings. Noida and Greater Noida have announced an additional 5% of the existing 3.5 FAR at no cost for developers that construct green buildings through Griha. The collective mission is to halt the mindless overuse of resources in the Noida region, which is already struggling to plug the supply-demand mismatch it faces on the water and power front. ये ऐसी बिल्डिंग्स बने जो ग्रीन बिल्डिंग्स हो कम से कम रिसोर्सेस हम जो उसका इस्तेमाल कर सकें और जैसे और बिल्डिंग के डायरेक्शन इस तरह से हो कि एनर्जी की खपत कम से कम हो वाटर रिसाइकलिंग हो सके सोलर सिस्टम लग सके तो बेसिकली ग्रीहा से हमारा ये है कि डिज़ाइनिंग में इस तरह के बिल्डिंग्स बने कि ग्रीहा हैज अ वेरी वेरी स्ट्रॉन्ग इम्प्लीमेंटेशन फोकस through site visits, through reg regular compliance check, uh, which it conducts. So we felt that we should uh, engage deeply with the NOIDA authority to make this incentive meaningful. Apart from extra FAR, a Griha pre-certification will enable any building project to receive out-of-turn consideration for environmental clearance. And once the construction of a Griha rated building is complete, the individual homeowners will receive a 10% discount on property tax. Under the regulatory heat from the National Green Tribunal over unchecked real estate expansion in the Noida region, authorities are looking at win-win solutions. Some monetary incentive देने पे भी बहुत ही actively विचार करें कि जो भी buildings जो कूड़े के disposal के लिए system अपने यहाँ लगाएंगे या solar system लगाएंगे, उनको हम जैसे map pass करने के लिए शुल्क लेते हैं, तो वो हम कुछ portion उसका reimburse कर सकते हैं as a incentive. The real estate industry represented by Credi announced that they want such green initiatives to be made part of the bylaws of local municipal bodies. From here on, they will be looking at solid waste management very aggressively and incentivizing even the people living in bungalows to do that. And also, uh, they will try and capitalize on the value of the raindrop, which uh, cities like Mumbai and Delhi are actually not being able to do. But what about the cost of constructing green buildings? Are there cost-effective solutions to build green? Experts say it's a myth that green buildings are expensive. Because the demand for housing is so high, uh, people need to deliver very fast. So a lot of the solutions that are provided are based on calculations that are done on thumb rule basis. And green building systems uh, per force do not allow thumb rule based design. So automatically the oversizing of systems and the say for example, um, you know, oversizing an air conditioning system which has a very big impact on the life cycle energy use of the building, that is not allowed. Automatically the operational cost of the building comes down and because we are not allowing thumb rule based design and we are doing simulations and calculations at a pre-design and a design stage, the capital cost of the building also comes down. While SOPs like extra FAR for green housing do create the necessary buzz, but experts feel going very high means pumping water up several floors, running elevators 24-7. Your energy consumption will water down all other savings. Academicians feel mid-rise, mid-density housing will perform better when made green in the Indian context. With camera person Prem Singh, Vasudha Sharma, NDTV.